Okay, y'all, we're back again with our cardboard challenge. Of course, it's me, Kath Joe DIYs, and Sarah from Sunflower DIYs. DIY, I'm sorry, Tammy from Rusted Willow, Sarah from Six Kids and a Glue Gum, Brenda from Rustic and Lace, Jackie from Crafting and Mimi's World, Misi from Crafty Cove, Tammy from Happiness Created, and C from CJ DIYs. CJ challenged me this time, and I got to challenge Sarah from Sunflowers and DIYs. Okay, y'all, right here. I got these race tracks from the Dollar Tree. That was our challenge item this time. Not only did we challenge each other to make something, create something, but now we're going to add in a twist to everything. So we had to use these race tracks, and we could not make a lantern. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, typical, right? So I cut the little side pieces off, and and the secret there is to go really, really slow. And um, you, you guys, I had that sped up to 16, but I was going so extra slow. But anyway, and to keep your blade close to the edge there, the ledge, to cut those little pieces off. So here I'm just taking, apparently, three months' worth of wood glue, and... Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, going crazy. And two pieces of cardboard. And I'm going to cut them down. I was originally going to do 14 by 14. But then um, I did something wrong. First, I'm going to poke y'all in the eye with my yardstick. But um, I don't know what I did wrong. And then I messed up one. Yeah, I messed up, cut one side too short. So it ends up being 13 by 13. And I'm going to take my um, miter shears here. And I'm going to cut 45 degree angles because it's all 13 by 13. All I have to do is line them all up, mark them off, and cut them. Well, I had one that was a bit short. So what I did, well, also I forgot I had more track. I pieced one together. So I'm going to take um, super glue here and I'm going to lay my um, frame down. Yeah. So what am I doing? I had super glue all over me, y'all. Seriously, it was everywhere. I have it on the back of my shirt and my shirt. Stuff. I ain't had a shower today. I'm so nasty. Anyway, so, and then I'm going to take, sorry, <laughs> I share too much. I don't know if I share or scare, but I'm going to take that uh, super glue and go around the inner part of my frame there to hold together. Now, those pieces I done cut off um, of that track, I'm actually going to cut them smaller. I cut those in half, and then I even cut them try to cut the halves in half because you need really really small pieces for what i'm doing here and here i just drew a little leaf and i'm just going to trace them all out because i want them to all be as close to the same as possible and i'm going to take this embossing tool i got from dollar tree and i'm going to take the big ball and go down the center of my leaves and then take the little ball and mark like little veins like do the spine and the veins of the leaf yeah so that's what I'm doing. And I'm still doing it. And um, I'm still doing it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Isn't it cute? Anyway, so here is me folding these pieces in half. And I'm going to cut them. I don't know what. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to cut them down. To what I need and y'all this is when I realized I gotta cut these things thinner it is insane so because you cannot control them they, they have them on their own they do whatever they want so I decided I would take some masking tape and try to tape them down the best I could to where I wanted you know to lay my parts and if you take your heat tool or the end of your um, hot glue gun and like run it against it you can control the people not like anybody's ever going to make this but y'all i've been seeing these i saw one at um home goods for 99 dollars i'm like you've got to be kidding me but anyway i'm just taping my pieces down here and um trying to see where i want everything i know that list looks like a mess of spider web or something but anyway i'm like mm, that other day is this what i want but then i'm gonna take my heat tool while it's all taped down Run over it, get it good and warm, and try to make it form into the position it's in. But be careful because you can melt it. And now that I got my pieces formed the best that they would be, this was just an absolute disaster. Um, I decided to take some, I 
I brought it down to like seven pieces, I think, is all I end up using. And I'm just take jute, wrap it around it, and I'm going to tie it up. So, yeah. Because um, the one I saw at at the uh, Home Goods, it looked like it had a uh, wire wrapped around it or something. And, of course, I guess I could have used wire. But then to glue it to the... I was having a hard enough time gluing this thing down. Look. Um, hot glue wants to melt it. So, you got to be really careful. And it, it like it, it's like it gets warm and then it pops loose with the hot glue because... It just, it just does. And then, uh, I don't know why. I'm not a scientist. But anyway, I'm just a know-it-all. But anyway, um, I think I'm a genius, but I'm really, really not. But, you know, I think I am. So, anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, if I put the hot glue underneath it, it seems to hold it up better. I'm going to spill my pop. Um, like, I wanted it to flare out like they're on the, like, on the, in the, at the bottom for, like, my roots. And um, I put the glue y'all saw and anyway i'm gonna set my frame down real good and I, right here i'm putting aileen's tacky glue on it so if i got the hot glue to hold it in place i want to use the aileen's tacky glue to uh try to get it to hold permanently down and i'm gonna take little tiny pieces that i cut off that i made like little branches with and i'm gonna glue them down to my tree yeah in case you didn't know <laughs> that's supposed to be a tree Anyway, <laughs> uh, looks like some kind of, I don't know, modern crazy art to me. But I'm just going to glue my leaves down. Now, that did help them stay in place, obviously. But, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm so rude. But, oh, no, I'm so sorry. Um, I was using Aileen's Tacky Glue and I ran out. I must eat that stuff or something. So, now I'm using wood glue, which I had to use. It, this whole video took four bottles of wood glue from the Dollar Tree and the rest of my um other glue that i had in my little uh glue box it don't matter anyway a lot of glue a lot of wood glue and just glue your leaves down we want some of them i put like two and two together some i put three together some of them i put single but you know do your thing and i'm gonna take these stickers and put them all the way around my frame here yeah i don't think it turned out bad to be <laughs> cardboard and racetrack, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to take that glue, that glue, shoot, that paint there. I've had that stuff forever, like two years. So, I thought I better use that, that chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to paint, um, almost everything. I like, I used, um, black acrylic paint on my leaves. But that pretty color, mint, it's Valspar. I found it over there on sale for $1.25, and it's gorgeous. So I thought, oh, this would be pretty. Because I wanted to make my leaves like a light green and a light blue and like like dry brush it on there, you know what I mean? Because I wanted those veins and, and spine to show through on my leaves. Um, anyway, so I used that, and I used this dusk. Well, the dusk look almost identical to the mint and it might be because of black under it, but still it was two totally obvious different colors so i don't know whatever and i used um look at me i'm like wait a minute what i look just like maybe i won't but i did anyway and then i used the metallic sapphire blue um that i got that at one more uh i don't know who sells it maybe apple barrel or folk art i just really don't know well i can look right here and tell you let me see. It is folk art, actually. So, anyway, and that's what three colors I painted all my leaves in. And then I paint my frame in truffle chalk paint. I lost all that footage. And then I dry brushed it with white. And I dry brushed a little over my frame there. And there's my tree. I think it's pretty. Oh, and then I painted that truffle, the tree. Sorry, I lost a lot of footage. But I thought it was pretty, y'all. Anyway. So, right here, I got more cardboard. Obviously, it's a cardboard challenge. Now, I was a crybaby about this. I'm like, nobody is going to have anything like this in their house, and you can't put it in the yard because it will just tear up. And I was like, uh, uh, uh. So, needless to say, I did it because I was challenged to do it. So, here we go. I take four pieces and cut them 14 by 14. I'm lying. 
I take eight pieces and cut them 14 by 14. Eight pieces. And then I am right here just doing that. Yeah, drawing some uh, kidney beans and some kidney stones and <laughs> some circles and, you know, just all kinds of, yeah, all that mess right there. So, anyway, and I, I want to make sure you saw it all. And then I cut them out with my craft knife. Now, the thinner cardboard, I could cut them out with um, my scissors. But, yay, for me, in the most part, I had to cut them out with my craft knife. So, yeah. And then, I'm going to take some masking tape and put it down right there. But only do it like halfway. Because I want half my tape to go on one side. Half my tape, it ain't on the other side. Anyway, to go on the Y'all see what I'm doing. I, you know what? That's probably going to be most of this video. 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 Y'all see what I'm doing. Not, look, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm like, wait a minute. What did I do? Oh, no. Oh, what did I do? Oh, no. Anyway, so finally, I, I get it. Was y'all scared as I was? Me, I was just like, what's going to happen? Am I going to get it? I don't know. The suspense is killing me. See, my videos are thrillers, too. And then I realized, hey, stupid, nobody can see what you're doing, so raise the camera up. So, anyway, and then I'm going to take masking tape and tape, do that, you know, and do a lot of it down through there to hold it together because, again, it's cardboard. Um, I don't think screws would work. I mean, it would, but... For how long, I just don't know. And I want to make sure y'all uh, knew how to put masking tape on uh, cardboard. So, okay, I just found out my video lost sound, so uh, I need to redo it. So, right here, I'm just bending that tape back, and I'm doing the next ones, and I don't know what's going on because I've already done this once and loaded it, and anyway, so, yeah, I'm just taking the other two, and I'm going to wiggle them, and I thought it'd be easier if I just propped it up and taped it like that, but no, uh, if you happen to make anything like this, tape it while it's standing there like I did before because, well, you see why I'm fussing and fighting with it. So, as we get it all taped in, and now y'all are master tapers, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, I'm going to take the two pieces and I'm going to put them, well, all four pieces and put them together. But what I do is put one on the inside and one on the outside to help stabilize it better. So it will, there you go, um, hold up. And I'm just going to put, because this thing is massive, y'all. It's massive. So I'm just going to put uh, tape on it and do all the corners and all around it and all that jazz. I honestly have no clue what's going on. I was on a roll when I did it last time, and now I'm just like, dur, dur, dur. anyway, okay, now I got these two boxes, and we're going to cut them, and y'all, I don't, I, you don't need to see all this cutting, so, um, let me just, yeah, well, never mind, uh, now you've seen it all. Okay, okay, now, got them all cut, here we go, so, um, if y'all have any ripped boxes and you do anything with cardboard, you should do a lot of stuff with cardboard because it's so cheap and easy. Not easy, not all, well, the stuff I'm making is not easy, but whatever, neither here nor there. Just put, uh, wood glue on it and some masking tape. So here we go with our third layer of our base because I'm serious, it needs to be really, really sturdy. And I left it, um, an inch and a half short, um, You'll see why in a minute. I know. it. I don't make no sense, but... And apparently, I'm addicted to wood glue. But, um... And sorry, I'm not in frame very well. But, y'all, this thing is huge. Seriously. So, I'm gonna... I know. Ramble, ramble. I'm doing that right there. And I cut that one at 14 inches because I could that one. But then the other one's had to be cut different because, you know. But after I get them all cut and get them on there, I'm gonna tape them down. That kind of holds it in place, too, um, while you do everything else but i got all four of them on all the way around the box um i'm sure y'all didn't want to see that but yeah and but now um y'all's watching me do a ton of taping so <laughs> so this worked out perfect because my yardstick is an inch and a half wide and that's why i gave you a thumbs up and y'all's like i don't care but anyway i take um this this cardboard here and i mark out 16 
one and a half inch pieces. Yeah. Well, they're at 15 inches long. There we go. See? I guess I didn't have to tell you. And anyway, we're just going to take and we'll glue four of them together. Um, and then we'll have four sets of four of those glued together. <laughs> anyway, and I didn't mean to show y'all of it, but there you go. Again, you know, nah, my editing skills aren't the best. How y'all been? Oh, so anyway, here I'm going to take wood glue, and I'm going to take some uh, hot glue. Look at my faces I'm making, and look at my double chin. I could be a pelican. Ain't that the pelican, one of them big birds that catches uh, fish and it hangs down in his big beak? That's me. I got that. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to put that piece on there. <laughs> yep, I'm telling you, it's probably easier if you if you just watch y'all because I'm not a good explainer, especially when I well just period. So anyway, um, that one wasn't straight, so I'm just gonna straighten it up there so it will lay flush against the. Hey, it's easier to do it that way than run out to the table saw. I reckon you know, I don't know. It really gets your carpal tunnel, and where I messed up my wrist when I fell off the toilet, y'all. Oh, it hurt so bad, but I think because I didn't let it heal right, but. All y'all told me, but I didn't listen. Now here I am. Anyway, so I'm just going to take wood glue here and and put it on the end piece and put it there and do the hot glue. And I'm going to lay that together. And we're going to do it all the way around the entire box with the four pieces, okay? I don't think I show it, but hopefully I don't. But anyway, yeah. Oh, see here I cut a piece because those hung over right there to fit just fit right in there because I didn't know how long I was going to have to cut them and I didn't want to take time trying to measure and figure it out because y'all know I can't measure. And then what's left over, I just cut it off with my um knife there. And if you don't want to be silly and hold it up near and cut it like that and take a chance cutting your finger, just lay it on the table and cut it. Yeah, there we go. See, get some sense to you, Kathy Joe. This box. Okay. I took this box. And, y'all, I just cut up a bunch of it. I, Y'all, um, you'll see. Okay, now where the bend is, the fold is, I'm going to take um, two pieces of cardboard and glue them together and glue it on that bend because I need it to, to lay flat. You know what I mean? I need it to go straight out and not be bendy and floppy. Because, um, floppy, <laughs> floppy maybe, I don't know, I like the word flop better. Um, so, oh, I gotta make my wood boards out of this. So, I'm just taking and wood gluing and hot gluing pieces together and putting it on the bends and crevices and then I fill it in everywhere else, y'all. Yeah. And see, I just keep filling in pieces and I cut them down and fill them in. And I think I make this about five boards Thick, if I'm not mistaken, and I just keep doing it and doing it and doing it because I didn't have enough, I didn't have a long enough piece to make those. I thought, but then I did, and whatever. Okay, now we're taking our little um rocks here and we're just gonna glue them down like a puzzle. Whatever you cut out, I cut out some weird pieces and I wanted them to look like stones, but you know, because C wanted me to from CJ DIYs, she challenged me. I challenged Sarah from uh, Sunflower and DIY, but she wanted me to make a wishing well. And um, I don't know if I've already told this, but I'm gonna tell it again. Um, in this challenge, I said everybody, when they make their things, it has to be bigger than a foot, bigger than 12 inches. Brenda from Rustic and Lace said, well, why didn't you just make a wishing well small one that's bigger than 12 inches? And I'm like, I something she could inform me of because my brain don't work that way a week ago. Instead, I made my base bigger than 12 inches. That's why it's 14 inches. And there you go. Now I got a massive cardboard whale. Anyway, it turns out great, y'all. Oh, well, I told what it was. I'm not supposed to tell until the end, but I think, well, I don't know. Okay, just, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> no, I'm not. But anyway, just keep gluing your little rocks on. Okay, and here I just got this, um, uh, tissue paper from Dollar Tree. They sell packs of just white tissue paper. So, um, 
I bought a pack of it, and I'm just going to cut it up in pieces, no rhyme or reason, just whatever. You could tear it, and I thought, oh, it's easier to cut it. It's faster, but then it gets stuck together real bad, so I think maybe tearing it's better for that. I had some newspaper I could, y'all, it's late in here. I am just blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so I take um water and school glue, like Elmer's school glue or whatever, and I mix the ratio one to one, and I don't, I think that's how you say it. Really, I'm not that stupid, y'all. It's just I got old and I forgot. I can't remember anything. So, if you have a half a cup of water, you put a half a cup of glue. There you go. That's what I'll say. And then take your tissue paper and wet down your cardboard and put your tissue paper down and do that. And when your brush gets a little bit dry, just get it wet again. But always try to, like, wet your cardboard before you put your paper on, you know what I mean, like, wet where you think you're going to put it, see, I'm putting it on there now, and then, yeah, do it like that, then put your tissue paper down, that's a teaching moment right there, the more you know, I don't think I ever teach, I just talk, you know what I mean, I just, I'm doing this, ha, 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 I don't know what I do, so, if you're new here, I'm sorry, I'm ADHD, and, and I ramble, I like to talk, yeah, so, hi, my name is Kathy Joe. I'm a talker, yeah, have been for 48 years. Anyway, now, when you're doing this part, make sure you um put your glue and your water in the crack real good. You know what I mean? Get it all good and wet in your crack, and then um put your paper down, and then rub it in the crack before you put it on the rock. You know what I mean? Um, or the stone, or whatever. Yeah, I think you can see what I'm doing. Uh, somebody had said one time use toilet paper. I might because this tissue paper is wrinkled and you can't hardly get the wrinkles out. You know, where they fold it, it gets wrinkles in. I don't know what's best. I accidentally put a paper towel inside this box and it sucked up so much glue and water and paint. It was insane. So I don't know. Okay, there's those five stack long pieces that I'm did but i did make sure that i had long enough pieces to put on outside of both of them and i'm gonna cut two pieces at two and a half inches wide yeah and if you just keep going you can just cut it right up with your knife but anyway um that one was a little bit long so i just cut them so well i'm still okay now y'all can use modeling paste or you can use this stuff that i make this stuff is awesome with stencils and stuff. I'll tell you. I think I'll show you here in a minute. What I, yeah, because I run out. But anyway, um, I said I'm going to um, patent this and, and uh, make a lot of money, but I'm really not. But with my luck, someone's already done it before. But I, if they have, I'm sorry. So I take six ounces of the lightweight spackle. Um, I use the whole thing. And then I, like, mix it up, like, really good to, like, like mash it up so I can stir it easier. See? And then we're going to take three tablespoons of Elmer school glue or any kind of school glue. It doesn't matter. Um, I just found a big giant bottle of it at the Walmart for like five ninety seven, and I got it. But three tablespoons. Did I say tablespoons already of glue? Anyway, anyway. And then I mix it up real good. And then, and now and then, I take... um. Two tablespoons of white paint. Now, I would suggest using acrylic paint, but I ran out of acrylic paint, so I had to use chalk paint. But anyway, and there you go. And then put it on there. And it gets, like, hard and rubbery. Like, it's really cool. So then I just sand it off, but I didn't sand it good enough because I was exhausted. And I was like, I can't sand anymore. And I went to bed. So... Anyway, first I painted this truffle chalk paint by Waverly. Then I heavy dry brush it with hazelnut chalk paint by Waverly. And then I paint them white. Really, really heavy dry brush. Anyway, and then I'm going to paint my tile and tile. <laughs> you know what? They got those rock things at the Dollar Tree. Those ones, I could have stuck them on the side of that. I didn't even think about it. But I paint the whole thing that sandstone color by Waverly. And then that is a, um, I think it's called concrete or cement. I don't know. They don't make it anymore, I don't think. Folk art, it's a uh, textured gray paint. 
But what you can do, I've done before, is take gray paint and put some sand in it. Get some sand from the Dollar Tree. And, you know, because it doesn't dissolve. And that's basically what that feels like. So, and, and like I said, I've done it before. So, anyway, I'm putting that all over all of my my rocks there and getting some in the center there. You know what I mean? We want, we want it all like, yeah. Yeah. And then do the top part and all right, right around it. Right around, around it. And then I'm going to take this pale gray, it's called, by Nita's. And I, I think I get that at Hobby Lobby. I've had that a long time. And I'm going to like lightly dry brush in spots on my rocks and in the cracks. And then I do take a um, brown color, like a medium brown color, and I go in the cracks. But I lost that footage, or I wasn't recording probably by accident. And then I go back over it with the pale gray. But then there I'm putting like black, dry brushing like a black on it. See? Yeah. Yeah, that's black. And I put just a little bit in the crack. I try to make them look as real as possible. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Y'all tell me because I just don't know. Um, I mean, anyway. So, I got my boards here, my two and a half by two and a half. And, oh, that's another piece of that. I don't know what in the world I was wondering for. Another piece of that uh, thing I cut up, it's five thick. So I cut two of them at seven inches, and then I'm going to measure down three inches inside my thing there, inside my my um, base. And I'm going to take wood glue and hot glue. I hope y'all can keep up with this. I'm so sorry. And I'm going to glue them one right across from the other. I do paint these later, so. And, yeah, and... We're doing that because we need to be able to hold those boards up. I don't want them to fall. I want something substantial to prop them on. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I did. And now I'm going to take my, my little board things. And I take wood glue and hot glue and stick it down on there. There we go. There we go. In the center. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, y'all. And then... Oh, I take hot glue and I go all the way around like the, um, yeah, because I want to stabilize it. And then, oh, okay. Then I put the other one in. Okay, right here, these is two pieces at 16 inches long. They're three, no, they're four thick, and then I just added a shorter piece to it so I could prop it up on my thing there because... I was going to make a corrugated um, roof, like a tin roof, and that was an epic fail, and I ran out of time. And then I thought I can shingle it, but I just still didn't have enough time, so I think I'm going to shingle it later, and I think that'd be cute. But I just hot glue those up there, and I aim them towards one, oh, one another, yeah, and hold it there for a second. Y'all, my husband got me that new chair, and I've already got lightweight spackle on it, um, paint on it, and now a big giant blob of hot glue fell from in between there right in my chair. I'm like, oh man, oh no, oh no. So anyway, yeah, it looks kind of rough. Right, ignore that mess behind me. I've got cardboard all over the place too. So here, oh, I take two pieces. They're 18 inch by 18 inch, and. I'm going to paint them black, both sides, and then I got to take these bamboo sticks. Now, I would have taken cardboard, but I, like I said, I ran out of time. And I'm doing that because these keep flopping out. They're whoop, like uh, the fly nun, you know what I mean? Her hat, like, um, like I don't know, like an 80s, no, 70s, late 70s hairdo, like winged. It was flopping out, and it was, I don't know, y'all. Like, an, uh, you know how you, uh, those Asian... Uh, Chinese houses are those anyway with the hot flop anyway that's what it was doing so <laughs> anyway yeah so I put those down there to keep it from doing that and then I'm gonna take wood glue and I'm gonna take hot glue and I'm gonna glue them to my pointy things right there I'm just kicking it all over the place oh goodness okay and Okay, hold it down real good because it still wants to florp everywhere. Mm. And then I do take hot glue and run it down the crack at the top of it. I've sure said crack a lot in this video. 
here it is, y'all. I hope y'all like it. This thing is massive. I just started grabbing a ton of flowers and throwing it down. <laughs> anyway, it looks like a mess. But anyway, I think it's cute, but it's ginormous, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to do with a large wishing well in my house, but do y'all think it looks real? I don't know. I'm The roof is just like, nope, but I, I've got to fix it. But it's just way too thin. I just, yeah. Anyway, I love y'all. There's everything, but you can't see my little uh, picture back there. But I, I love y'all. I appreciate all your prayers. You're all, you're so good to me. And it means the world to me. And I just, I don't know, y'all. Y'all my family. Y'all, y'all my friends. I tell my husband about y'all and stuff like that. And we pray for one another. And I need to do a live soon. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I'll hopefully see you next week. Lord's will. Mwah. Bye.